Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. Oh, that was fun. If you can't tell by our attire. Our summer garb. Is it hot in here or is it just summertime? No, we have the air conditioning on. It's yeah, it's actually in nice in Thank here. God. It's also not that bright. Well, actually, no, it is really bright with these lights. You can probably like. Okay, but like, I them. should do this more. This is so It is. Nice. It's I love this. It's easier on the eyes. It really is. So today, it's not a summer trends video, even though now we were like, no. oh, we should have done this for summer trends. That would have been fun. This is a Bolo summer brands Thank with you. one thrown in that's not really, but. What are you going to do you about know, it? You know, it's Nothing. okay. It'll be a good time. <laughs> so these are like swim brands, sunglasses brands, sandal brands, whatever. These are Bolo summer brands you should be looking for. So obviously all these things should be selling really well right now. Mm -hmm. So if you do see any of these brands, grab them. Pick them up. Grab them all year, but especially grab them now. Mm -hmm. I guess we're just going to jump into it. I'm going to talk about one, then Ryan, then we're going to go taking turns. We got 10 of them for you today. Okay, so first up is a brand called Vix. I don't actually know if this is V-I-X or Vix. I always call it Vix. I actually had this, I think, I in my idea. first ever Bolo video, which Ryan wasn't even on this channel at uh, that point. How many years ago? Decades. It's only like one and a half or two. Seems we like We haven't been decades. doing YouTube as long as, <laughs> we always think we've been doing YouTube forever, but. And it isn't as long as we, we think. really haven't been doing it. So um, <laughs> but this was on my first Bolo video ever, and I thought I'd re-say it because I'm sure like most of you haven't seen that. But Vix is a super, super, super expensive oh God, swim cover brand. They do make bikinis and swimwear, but they really, really focus on swim covers, whether it be mm -hmm. like kimono style covers or, the, like, or dresses, dresses or like mm -hmm. sarongs or whatever those are called. Isn't that what like those? Wrap, like a wrap around skirts are yeah yeah My they make all that kind of stuff too. it's a lot of tie dyes a lot of they the kimono style are lace a lot the two mm -hmm. pieces of vix i've ever found have been like black lace one was a dress and one was the kimono style so they like lace they like tie dye like i said and they do a lot of like striped they do of just they various do have colors. a lot of like Stripes. Yes. Um, but it's like maxi dresses, mini dresses, everything. But if you see Vix, it's usually a black label. I mean, I'll put it here. It's usually a black label with like gold embroidered font. Like writing. If you see it, get it. It's at Bloomingdale's. It's everywhere. It's at Nordstrom oh Rack. God. It's at Neiman's. It's been at Anthro. Neiman's is gone now. It's been at Victoria's Secret. It's been at Anthropology. And yeah, we saw it's been at Victoria's Secret which too, I which is odd. I think that's funny because they pride themselves on somewhere. No. But I'm assuming that's only on the Victoria's <laughs> Secret website because I've never seen, I mean, I've also never been into a Victoria's Secret, but I've never heard of something being that expensive yeah. in there. So I've been in one, but I haven't ever like shopped. But it's, it's always, all expensive. Like, like it's mm -hmm. not cheap at any of these places. So definitely get Vix if you see it. And it does well, even if you list it just as Vix. Yes. It doesn't have to be Anthro or anything. No. So grab Vix. I have his swimwear and his swimwear, it kind of sits for a little bit longer because I think people know the brand for the like swim covers and stuff, but it still gets a lot of attention. The lace stuff is so good though. Not any cheaper. It's so expensive. Yeah. I have some, I have a bikini top listed that was like a hundred and something dollars for like a triangle piece of fabric that's Next, we are going on to another swimwear brand, and this is Triangle, T-R-I-A-N-G-L. A lot of people are like, it's fake because there's no E in it. I saw that on Instagram. No, the real, the authentic ones don't have an E in the name. Um, they are known for a ton of like really loud colors, but not like printed. So it's very like those backpacks that were popular a few years ago that looked like um, they were like drawn. That's the triangle thing. It's like like bold. Yeah, they like, use bold lines. They use lines to like you know make outline it look like a drawing. Put a line through mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and they use almost like colors that I picture like pink by Victoria's Secret using. They're where very it's like, like pink, neon yellow. It's neon very green. like neon everything. Yes. Like oh my god, um, they are often copied. I will say. So if you find anything that kind of like looks in that style, just make sure there's either a little silver tag on the back of the bikini bottoms, or all the hardware says triangle. Mm -hmm or the interior tags on the bikini tops say triangle as well. Um, they are always neoprene. Yes. Every single time they are neoprene, Since which I think is like the allure to them because they must be like comfortable because yeah. there's no like seam. Since they're so popular, but, like PacSun's knocked them off, like Urban Outfit. Oh my God, Target. <laughs> Exhilaration had the bikini Everything top is. one time. Yes. <laughs> so like be mindful, but I will say if you find one, so if you find a top or a bottom, dig or hunt for the other half because they're not like super expensive retail but they're worth they still will sell separately no they though. definitely will they're worth more if you can find the set yeah 
I will say. Yes. Next up is a brand called Tanya Taylor. Tanya Taylor. I may have had Tanya Taylor in one before, but that was probably an old one if I did. But Tanya Taylor is literally like my favorite underrated designer oh my ever. God, she's beautiful. I have been obsessed with her ever since I like discovered her. She makes the most beautiful, oh beautiful God. prints. Her embroidery she is oh. crazy size inclusive. She Which is like, such love. Such a wonderful love woman. That for like her. I love her so much. I like DM them all the time on Instagram hoping to get a click <laughs> them like, to talk to me. I can work for you. Um I love them so fun. much. She uses tons of prints and tons of silk. Everything's always has a tag. This is made in the USA. I don't know. Maybe she's had a few that aren't, but a lot of it is made in the USA. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of floral prints. She had like a pinwheel print. She Ooh. makes. It's mainly. It's mainly dresses and pretty. tops. Um, there is a jacket. I actually have like a moto jacket that I've kept for myself by her. But basically everything's printed. I don't think I've ever seen anything by her that's just solid. And if it was, it'd probably be like a really pretty like red or something. Yeah, she's very like color. Yes, she again is sold at like Saks Fifth and Nordstrom. I don't even know if it's in the store, but she's on their website and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's a lot on Rent the Runway. You oh, see a lot of her stuff. Oh, she does do a lot of her So a lot of people mm -hmm. actually discover her through there and then they're like, what is this awesome brand? Ooh, like, I she love been? her. My entire life. Yeah, so Very pretty. if you ever see Tanya Taylor, pick it up. It's all just, it's like crazy oh my expensive. God, it's it's seven, so expensive. And it actually sells really good. And it's, I was gonna say, and it really is one of those like newer designers that like holds its money. Yes, where when people know what they are, like I said, they're people obsessed with it. Up so if you have blessing. it, people are hunting for it on Posh. It's just not on there very often. So when they get a chance to buy it, mm -hmm. Oh my God, do. I was doing a little deep diving a few days ago, especially the bigger size stuff, the plus size Tanya Taylor, gone. I think she's kind of like in that same market with like plus size Kate Spade, mm -hmm. where it's like, it's cute Someone's and it actually doesn't making make, cute clothes for plus size. Make, love that for her. Yes. It is worth money. Yeah. Next, we have another swimwear brand called Anya. Anya, Anya. 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 I think of Enya, the singer, the Swedish singer trains and winter rains, if you will. So she, they, excuse me, they're men, they're not women. They do- Yeah, we just found out it's founded by two men. Interesting. They make a lot of men's swimwear along with women's. It's probably like, it's like 50 around 50-50 50. 50, 50 from our research. Um, it's men's, it's kind of like, you know, just like neutral, like swim trunks, board shorts. Like I would say kind of like a J. Crew print type where they're not like crazy in your face but they're definitely like a small palm tree more muted. like a little surfboard more muted colors definitely. it's very opposite of um triangle <laughs> triangle <laughs> color wise their women's stuff though i will say is insane i think all of them are like insanely expensive it's so cr it's crazy, crazy like high. a bikini set is like 200 to it's 250 like a couple hundred bucks the men's swim trunks are like 90 to like 170 180 which is just crazy Insane. They do though, do collabs with people. They did a collab with We Were What a while ago. And they've done like, you know, kind of collabs with these different like indie brands, which those are also very expensive. Mm -hmm. I will say the Anya stuff tends to like not sell for like a ton a ton when compared to its retail, but like it definitely still moves very quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure if really any like swim brands resells for like that time? through the roof amounts. Cause I mean like it's a swimsuit. Like but they can charge a ton for it, but like, but they're still sought after and they'll still true. sell quickly. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a little less than like a dress or something, yeah. but still very sought after She's and very, very expensive. Expensive. She's very rich lady. Up next is a brand called Free Bird by Steven. This has nothing to do with Steve Madden. And also this is the one on the list that has nothing to do with summer. I mean, he does make some sandals, mm -hmm. but it is not a summer brand, but it's still one to look out for and it still sells really good. Free Bird by Steven makes a lot of boots. A lot of boots. All leather. But some All sandals, leather. some sneakers, some everything, but there's a lot of boots. They're very like western -y style and they mm -hmm. mainly all look like pretty distressed, like already broken in. Yeah. That's kind of his like shtick. I would say they're kind of in the bed stew. They're kind of in the like the bed stew. The bed stew like mm -hmm. look to them. It's like very expensive, but like very broken in looking. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, these are like sold at Nordstrom and all that stuff. They also have been sold at Free People in Anthropology. They have. I have once had a pair of like kind of golden goose dupes by him and they sold within like a day for over a hundred bucks. I don't exactly His remember how much. 
it's really expensive and it is very good at holding its resale value. Yes, it really does. Good. Yes, people, this is on a lot of people's like bucket lists for like thrift finds. Mm -hmm. I'm excited that I found a really good pair once. I, I did pay up a little bit more. Um, I've but, never found a pair. Yeah. I'll cry through my Gucci sometimes. Um, but yeah, mainly boots, kind of like high boots, low boots, angle boots, all those kind of boots, but it's heavily boots and distress. That's mm -hmm. kind of all there is to free bird. Next, we are going into a sunglass brand. That called, no one knows how to pronounce. I call them Quay. They are technically called Key. Key. Which I always called them Quay. I don't remember who I heard it from, but I believe they're officially called Key, which is probably yeah. the last thing I would have guessed for the pronunciation. Well, that makes sense. Cause like, if you go down to like the Florida and the Bahamas. But they're Australian. It's Q-U-A-Y, but they pronounce it Key. Oh. Okay. But they're Australian, so somewhere in translation, it went from quay to key. So yeah. they're called key. Key uh, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moral of the story. <laughs> they are very, very popular. And the nice thing is, like, they don't retail for, like, a ton of time compared to sunglasses. For some sunglasses. They're expensive, but, but they're definitely not, like... But they hold... These expensive. They, they definitely, like, sell fast. You can get good money for them. It's like how Lulu's dresses used to be, oh, where it's God. like they retail at 50 and you can sell them for, like, 45. Them for 45 that is how 50. key is, but I don't think they're going to lose that because, like, they aren't just, like, no, not everyone they're has like, them. They're, they're like, I, I would call them common, but they're not, like, easy to find. Yeah. Like, they're popular, but they're not, like, you go to TJ Maxx and there's, like, a rack of 150 of them. No. But the nice thing, though, is that they are very popular with celebrities. Yes. So you get famous rich people, you get not that expensive, and you get something that is, like, obtainable, and then you have a nice market. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Kylie Jenner, for wearing, like, two pairs of key sunglasses one time, and now they sell for 50 to $60. Yes. <laughs> Every style they make is super trendy. There's They're nothing that's, trendy. like, very, like, out of touch. Like, they really pay attention to what types of sunglasses people like, and They're they have a big, big variety as well. They do. They're I big, will though. say there are certain, like, models that have been worn by like Kylie Jenner or bigger celebrities that sell for crazy amounts. Google, if you ever find a pair, they all have names in them, Google the name. And then usually they'll yes. be like on like a, what Kylie Jenner wore, like blog or something. The, and those are the ones that are worth more. When they kind of first like hit, that was like the beginning of last summer or something. Mm -hmm. And Kylie wore this certain pair that I myself wanted so bad. They I were, looked them up and they were like 120 the, like, bucks. Big, yeah, and they, they like, retail them like, like 60. 70 bucks. So yeah. like, Definitely check the style if you find them. They can be found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff. That's a good place to get them because they're obviously a lot less than retail. Google them. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. They sell quick and they for do. close to retail. And even the ones that aren't like, you know, on some famous person, like they still sell very quickly. I had a pair in the B&G box and they sold in two days for 35 <laughs> They were in the bucks. next what's on <laughs> Yeah, and they sold for 35 bucks. Yeah. Which work. Next up is a Strictly Sandals brand, and it is called Ancient Greek Sandals. I found them for the first time this past week, but I did not buy them. <laughs> but you should. It's because they were, they were really up. overpriced. They were, they were very, very highly marked up. Um, but Ancient Greek Sandals are very, very like basic looking sandals. They're always flats, and they're always very strappy like a greek sandal like a gladiator is. sandal yes. a lot of them don't have the leg some of them way up your leg some of them do go up the leg some but a lot of them don't mm -hmm. so they appear very basic but the logo is like embossed where your like heel would go Stand. and it has the little like shoe with a wing on it <laughs> sign on it <laughs> was that no that like was hercules hermes <laughs> shoe yeah on the logo the messenger and on the bottom, they say made in Spain. They're super expensive. They retail for about 170 to 250, but some of them can only sell for like 50. I mean, only sell. If you find them, they're probably gonna be like three bucks. And obviously that's a really good flip. <laughs> Luckily, thrift stores don't mark up sandals. <laughs> yeah, but you can sell them for about 50 to 100. And I've heard that they were super popular. I think a few years back, they were like crazy popular, but people do still really want them. Mm -hmm. So definitely pick them up, especially because we all know, yeah, like flat sandals, you can get them pretty cheap at the thrift store. And you can't go wrong with a good pair of flat sandals. Yeah. Oh, love them. And right. they use really nice leather. So. They are very, very, very high quality. Mm -hmm. Next is, I would probably say the ancient Greek sandals woman is of this woman. It is Cult Gaia. They are very, very, very famous for their bamboo bags. Another brand that had a huge moment like a couple years ago. Still very popular. That was like but... last summer. Yeah. They make these like half circle bags. They make circles and they're all kind of like formed 
bamboo. They are very like delicate. They're very kind of like you take an Instagram picture and put your phone in yeah. it kind of bag. They're like bamboo bird cages. They like, kind of are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they are very, very, very expensive, and they very, very, very well hold well, retail. Well, like very expensive, they're like, kind very of very expensive for a bag that like isn't really functional. They're like ancient Greek <laughs> sandals, where they're like about one fifty to two fifty ish. But with these, you can sell them. You can for sell like, them for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, which is amazing. Um, I will say though, these going back to the triangle have been knocked off by everybody and their mother. The bags definitely not as good as the Cult Gaia branded ones. They also come, however, do make clothing. And the clothing is very, very, very expensive. You're not going to find that as much. But... No, that's like, I didn't even know they made clothing. Um, It's very, like, islandy. Yeah. Like, the lady that travels to it's the It's where you wear it with your clothing. Yeah, bag. exactly. <laughs> and then they make a few sandals. But again, it's probably not going to be found very often. A lot of, like, beads, a lot of raffia, a lot of yes, islandy lots things. Lots of, like, raffia and bamboo to those as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Up next is a brand called Love Shack Fancy. All one word, no space in between love and shack and fancy. This brand uses tons of pink. I will summarize it that way. Lots and lots pink. of pink. Um, they use a lot of ruffles and embroidery. It's a lot of mini dresses, it's very, I've like, noticed. very, like, romantic. Like a romantic brand. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of colors that you would see in a cotton candy machine. Or, like, a candy store. Like, violet and pink. <laughs> and maybe, like, an like a maybe sky blue. Like, a nice light mint in yes. there somewhere. But it's very, like, Easter colors. Mm -hmm. And they're very subtle. Um, very this very brand expensive. is so... Oh, oh my God. so, 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 so expensive. They're actually coming out with a Target collab in which, June, which they're having cute stuff for that. And again, size inclusive. That'll be fun. That'll be really cute. I'm excited for that. And then besides like their dresses, they do make some sweaters. And the mm -hmm. way I would describe these sweaters, <laughs> these sweaters are, are if Moschino remade grandma sweaters. I think they've done that before and they look probably, probably the very same. similar. <laughs> yeah. They're like very like thick knits. They're pink again, and they have like hearts on them, and they look very grandma chic. <laughs> that is not an insult. They, they, that's no. like they're cute. They're it's, grandma it's chic. A style term. That's love fancy. Okay, so next we have Mara Hoffman, specifically her swimwear. Mara Hoffman, if you don't know, she typically does a lot of dresses, a lot of very flowy things. They're very, 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 very colorful printed. I would say kind of in the like farm rio, in a sui family and they're very expensive her swimwear does amazing it's in that same realm of like really bright colors really in your face really loud it's really so vibrant. farm rio i was scrolling through it and i was like mm -hmm. it looks like the creative director of farm rio is mara hoffman it's definitely like, like not as detailed as no farm rio. but it's the it's same colors like, and same like palm leaf like aesthetic to it yes they her swimwear does so good oh my god it's hell it's really expensive to begin with, and it is one of those ones that really, really, really holds its retail value. I have, I think, two or three, like, bustier swim tops. They're not, like, crazy intense, but, like, a little. And I've sold two of them for, like, 60 bucks. Love them. They're mm -hmm. so pretty. Okay. And that is the last one. That is all we have for you today for 10 Bolo Summer Brands. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys learned something <laughs> from this. Let us know if you learned a brand from this or some other summer bolo brands that you guys know that we can learn from you. And hopefully you'll be on the lookout for these. I hope you guys find some of these because yes. I hope I, I find some of them, them too. too. So um, I'm really and, a little bit of good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and we will see you on Saturday for What's Old Saturday and on Tuesday for part three of our haul. So thank you guys for joining. We will see you Saturday. Goodbye. Bye. So free for free living. <laughs> <laughs>